India says it's launched what it's calling surgical strikes on suspected fighters in Pakistan, saying they were getting ready to infiltrate the part of Kashmir India controls. Pakistan is denying India carried out the strike, saying it was cross-border fire. Let's get more on this now. We're joined by Sri Ram Chaulia, Dean at the Jindal School of International Affairs. Uh, he's joining us from the Indian capital, New Delhi, via Skype. Mr. Chaulia, very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So firstly, Indian government saying that it's carried out uh, a surgical strike. What more are you hearing in New Delhi? Well, there is a mood of uh, expectation uh, in India that uh, there must be a cost to the terrorism that comes across our border in the form of jihadist fighters who are trained and given sanctuary by the Pakistani military. So a lot of people here are elated in many ways um, that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has authorized this kind of bold action. Uh, and when they say surgical strikes, the talk here is that um, either we crossed, uh, Indian forces crossed across the disputed border into Pakistani territory or pinpointed and targeted um, terrorist infrastructure and camps of jihadis on the Pakistani side using artillery and other means through our aerial recce's and uh, uh, satellite positioning and so on. So it looks like it is actually um, a, a, a different uh, kind of a response from India from the past when there have been attacks on uh, in Indian Kashmir and India has been often accused of being soft and unable to respond. But for the first time, we are seeing um, a bolder uh, initiative from uh, the Indian prime minister and the Indian military. OK, but Pakistan is saying that uh, India's claims of these strikes are just an illusion, that this is cross-border fire across the line of control. Uh, what are we to make of these confl conflicting accounts? Well, it always happens in South Asia. We are quite familiar with this um, uh, game of recriminations and um, claims and counterclaims. Uh, I think Pakistanis have to save face because what has happened is um, these attacks have happened. India wouldn't risk, um, you know, making a public claim about this if it had not happened. Uh, so I think the Pakistanis will want to assuage their own uh, public opinion, form, which would be outraged and which would say, how could we allow the Indians to do this uh, onto our side? So I think they are covering and uh, saving face by saying, actually, this is the regular artillery shelling that goes on. The Pakistani version is that uh, two um, regular Pakistan soldiers have been uh, killed in the Indian firing. And that keeps happening on and off all the time. So they're trying to m make this sound like nothing special and this is the usual stuff and we will also uh, respond uh, in kind and keep on firing from our side. And this is the usual but i think what is different this time is the casualties include jihadists so this is not uh, a typical um, you know matchup between two conventional militaries there is a third player here which are these uh, hardline um, islamist uh, sunni jihadists who have been attacking uh, india from across the border and they have been hit this time so i think this is a departure but the pakistanis will not admit that these terrorist camps even exist they will say that our regular um, infantry and soldiers have been hit so i think uh, this is where uh, the dialogue uh, of the death goes on you know in a way india will make the claim and the pakistanis will refuse but All right. more worrying than in the counter claims is what will be the repercussions of it for regional stability all right we have to leave it there with sri ram chaulia dean at the jindal school of international affairs joining us from new delhi there thank you